Sometimes you feel like a nut. Hey, hello, farmers. Welcome back to Ravenport. Uh, yeah, it's not midnight, and we're not at the BGA. Uh, a whole bunch of things went down at, at the BGA. I'll get to that in a second. But as you can see, we're loading up our wool pallets first. Because there's a great demand at the spinnery for wool. And I just had some fun stacking up. That took me about, oh, about 20 minutes real time to stack that up. Because I'm fabulous at it. Uh, I'm going to park that there. So I can find it. And I need to get the shovel and everything on because... Wow, our animals are messy. Our animals need attention. So first things first, I should get to the BGA. I could not sell all the silage before midnight. So there's that. And the price that we got, I, got, I sold about half of it. Which made me to believe I should have got somewhere right around 150000 or so. And we did not. I think we're getting... That we still got they still got that bug where I'm only getting like maybe 200 per a thousand liters so pretty close to that uh, but yeah you can see now we're up to a hundred and yeah a hundred <laughs> we're up to 287 thousand I have been selling the other silage this morning I still got some left to go so I mean I, I was selling si uh, like I said, I got down to about 500,000 liters. That's why I had left at midnight. And I still think I got like 200,000 liters to go. So there is that. Uh, but if we go into our page, you can see why I'm not in a rush to do, uh, do the wall. But we definitely want to do it. Uh, 1404. Yeah, so if we go into our money page, I sold about half of it. Uh, this one right here. And I only got 117,000. So selling the other half, I should get another 117. So I'll say 120 a piece. We're only get 240,000, which leads me to, to believe I'm getting paid somewhere around 200,000 uh, 200 dollars per thousand. Because I think I sold a little bit more than half a million liters last night. So yeah, the pricing is still kind of bugged out. I think. But while we're here, I should show you because it's probably not cleaned up yet. But the cleanliness is zero. Uh, water. Productivity is down to 10% because the cleanliness sucked. But uh, it should get better. The chickens, cleanliness zero. And the horses are still okay. I mean, yes, they're getting to be where they need decay and stuff. So, But if you did see, our horse is now worth uh, thirty-two grand. But we need to go sell this wool and get some good cash for it. So we got a lot of work today to do. I want to get field six back up and going. Uh, I don't want to tip this trailer either. But I did notice something about the pallets. Uh, I had a couple tip over. I had a couple pallets fall on the side. And I don't know when in this update it happened. But when the pallet falls on the side, it uprights itself. Which was very interesting. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wow. I forgot to strap this in somehow. That pallet did not fall off yet. Uh. Yeah, that seemed about. That's, uh. Yeah, I don't think I dropped any. I don't think so. Uh, so, anyways, let's go sell these up. Uh, you can see that feels full of weeds. I'm not going to bother weeding it because we're just going to spread lime on it. And we'll let the horse seed roll just seed it into the field, I guess. Uh, yeah, I, I, that's weeds again. The grass field is ready, and of course our oats are ready. But the oats for the horses, we're going to wait because we should have enough money come midnight now. If everything goes well. I mean, if I get another 100 grand, so we're at 3. If I get another 100 grand, that'll give us up to 4. And we're going to sell some stuff today. So we should have enough to buy our harvester and header, maybe. I don't know. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. So, yeah, I still got to sell some more silage. Um, like I said, I got to lime that field. We'll get the John Deere seeding that field back up. 
Uh, not with canola because the price of canola kind of sucked last time. But then again, you know, the stuff, the field won't be ready for two more days. So who knows what the prices will be in two days. But I think this time we'll go with uh, soybeans. And I'm driving probably too fast. I probably should drive outside the cab just so I can make, you know, keep an eye on my trailer. So yeah, still with the BGA, I think the pricing is still needs to be fixed. The other thing I realized is uh, I had to restart the game just before I started recording because I tabbed out to make sure my microphone was was uh, working well and I didn't have the screen up. So I tabbed out, came back in, and my steering wheel didn't work. So I had to restart the game. <laughs> that was a, kind of a thing at FS17 as well. If you kind of tabbed out of the game, you're... Your steering wheel would go, some of the times the pedals wouldn't work or something like that. So, yeah, I had to tab out of the game, you know, exit the game, restart the game, and now everything's working fine once again. With that all being said, though, I forgot how many pallets I had, but I'm expecting a pretty decent payday here. But hopefully they fix this trigger somewhat. Looks like accepting the pallets better. Yeah, see, it's except some and not others, which I don't quite get, but. Really? Come on, farming sim, can't you fix stuff like this? Ooh, ooh, ooh. There we go. Just knock them all over. It's going to be... We're going to have to go into our price page afterwards to see what we're getting. I wonder if that one back there is being held on by that strap. Uh, the funds are trying to sell stuff at at the wool place. Come on. Just fall off, maybe, and sell. Really, might have to argue with this thing to get off. Oh, found a sweet spot, apparently. There we go. That was easy. <laughs> Let's go into our our page here. Uh, money page. Today. Uh, over 25 grand for that, so not bad. So we're up to 313 grand. So I'm going to bring this back to... Hmm. I'm just going to leave that parked here for now. How about that? Uh, next step is we'll come here. Probably because I'm only running at one time speed. Yeah, that's not selling much. Alright, so what I need to do actually is... Uh, yeah, let me get some things squared away. i got to figure out how I'm going to do this next. Uh, I think I'll drop off this trailer back at the chicken farm. I think we'll grab the Massey Ferguson. We'll spread some lime on field six. So we can get the John Deere seeding that field as soon as possible. Now we'll come over here and clean the chickens out. Yeah, we got some stuff to do. Sell some silage. And, uh, yeah. We'll take, care, we'll take care of some things shortly here, but I gotta get all set up once again. So I'll see you in a bit. Alright, so we got that all squared away finally. And as you can see, spreading some lime in field number six. I could go for some lime right now in my beer, but that's another story. So, uh, we'll get this field covered in lime, then we'll get, like I said, bring the John Deere over, and I think soybeans is the wave of the future. I had to dump out all the fertilizer that I had. I actually had about 8,000 fertilizer in here. 
So that's up by the BGA, just wonderfully in pallets. But I do believe they actually slow down how much slime you're using, but you still use quite a bit of it. And one of these days, I'll probably get the bigger burrito, but like I said, I need another 200 grand for our harvester and header. But like I said, hopefully we'll get somewhere around 120 grand to, at midnight for the silage again. And if we sell the bison, we should get some money for that. But hopefully, <laughs> I got a funny feeling I may come up just short. So I have to see what the egg prices are going for. That's the only thing I got to sell are eggs. So hopefully that'll be enough. But we'll have to see what we got when the end of the day comes. And obviously I'll probably lose pretty close to 12 grand at midnight as well because of our loan interest. So I may have to start doing more contract jobs again off camera just to get us a little bit more cash. I may actually do that at some point today because midnight is a long ways away. It's only 8 o'clock in the morning. So I may do some jobs. Uh, maybe some fertilizing jobs because I, I got the fertilizer. So I won't have to spend on that and we'll get some free cash that way. But uh, we'll have to check egg prices in a second. and Because uh, I do have... Uh, last I knew, I had like over 20 boxes. So if the price is good, then we can sell those and you know maybe get another 20 grand that way. Every little bit will count. Part of me wants to go sell the bison right now. But I think I want to wait and make sure that we got, we got the cash that we need. But, you know, at least I'll bring the bison down to the store and get ready to sell it. The last strip, hopefully, of lime. I'm just hoping I got enough to finish it because that would really upset me if I got like 100 feet left to go and my tank is empty. That would just really irritate me. And I think that's what's probably going to happen. So you, you can see it just running out. The more the closer we get, it seems like the faster it's going to run out. I'm going to have to go get just a little bit more just to top it off. Can we make it? Yeah, just as I thought. Just enough to... That's going to irritate me. Ah... <sighs> Let's, let's finish it up. I'll just get just enough. Alright, there we go. But now that I got enough in here, I probably will get these little patches at each end of the field. Just try to cover up as much as I can. That way I don't have... Uh, em empty pallet, well, not an empty pallet, but it'll be just about empty, so. Yeah, I don't like having pallets hanging around if I don't need to. But now we can bring the John Deere over here, get to him seeding this field and get rid of the weeds, but the weeds seem to love this field lately. I'm actually thinking about when I get the uh, bigger breedle. I'm probably going to keep this one. We'll, we'll use this one for the artificial fertilizer. And the bigger breedle we'll use for lime. Since you go through so much of it. I realize I can add extensions to this one to make it bigger. But when you just have artificial fertilizer in it. You don't go through that much artificial fertilizer. Lime, as you saw, we go through quite a bit. So now I'm going to go dump this off uh, by our garage over here. And I think we'll head over to the chicken farm. We'll clean up the chickens because their productivity is down. Kind of like the sheep were, but I think the sheep should be fine at this point. I'll, we can check their stats in a second. And while we're over the chicken farm, we'll see what prices of eggs are at the moment. If it's, you know, it's got to be above three grand. If it's not above three grand, then I don't see the real point of trying to sell it just yet and you can see right now all the bags of fertilizer <laughs> that I had to empty but at least you can empty things now that's great so uh, yes jump that off 
So yeah, I'm going to meet you back over at the chicken farm. We'll clean up the chickens, uh, check the prices of eggs. And also in the meantime, then we'll come back over and get the John Deere going on seeding some soybeans in the field we just limed. Well, boy are the chickens messy. And it does make you wonder how all this fits in their trough. I mean, when the sheep get messy, it's like one bucket. When the chickens get messy, it's bucket after bucket after bucket. And the thing is, the chickens were requiring some food, almost. <laughs> and I'm going to put almost like four or 5,000 liters back in. So yeah, I'm kind of holding off on the oat fields because I, I thought we were going to get a lot of money from this BGA. And we're going to have our new harvester. Uh, we will have a new harvester sometime soon. Who knows, maybe even this episode. We'll see. Alright. The chickens are now cleaned up. And there's all of our boxes of eggs. So let's go see what some eggs are going for right now. Um, nothing really good at the moment, so we're not going to sell no eggs. But, you know, we got the whole day ahead of us. Yeah, I'll just leave those there. So yeah, we got the whole day ahead of us. So we'll see what the, the price of eggs do. Maybe we'll get a great demand on eggs too today. Who knows? Maybe the game kind of knows that, uh, quote unquote, we're struggling for money because we got that huge loan. Uh, so both of my tractors are kind of over here right now, except for the John Deere. Uh, we'll dump what silage that we have out. We'll drop that off. Uh, yeah, it'd be nice if I started the engine first, Peanut. That's always a good idea. And we'll go pick up our seed row, which should have enough seed and fertilizer in it to do field number six. And I'm not worried about, you know, keep selling silage because I don't have that much more silage to go. There we go. Alright, so right now it's on us, right? I was like, why is it on Sunflower? I forgot we took a contract job. And we, we did some sunflowers for someone. Uh, there we go. Got to be careful not to drive into our grass field, which is just right there. Because now they don't have crop destruction outside the field. But if I were to go through my field right now, which I may have just done a little bit. Uh, there, I would definitely destroy the crops in the field. And if weeds come back in this field again, this would be like the third or fourth crop in a row that it would come back on. I may put herbicide down because we've been using just the weeder, pulling the weeds out. But maybe if we use herbicide, it'll get rid of them for a while. Now I want to overlap a little bit here because the field is kind of not straight. Well, you go do that, sir. Yep, so the weeds are gone. Uh, I probably should have checked, but this plowing thing, which I don't get still. Uh, let's get rid of the weeds. Yeah, so the field doesn't need to be plowed. My fields never need to be plowed, so I don't, I don't quite get it. But that's fine. Uh <laughs> I know you got to plow it after, uh, where, I shouldn't stand here because I'll block the helper. I think you got to plow after corn, sugar beet, 
and potato. Um, collecting grass, grass and hay, animals, production recap. Uh, nope. All right, here we go. I finally found it. Improving yield. You got to plow after corn, potatoes, sugar beets, and sugar cane. So it's actually four crops. Uh, basically, root crops, uh, corn, sugar cane, uh, for sure. But we still have periodic plowing on. I should have to plow after every three trot, every three harvests, but, you know, not really sure why we don't have to. Uh, probably be quick if I did it like this. All right, sir, you have enough room to turn around at the edge of the field so they don't go down to the sheet pen. That's good enough. I want him to overlap a little bit. So now, if we go into our animals, how are sheep doing? Sheep are doing well. 99% product productivity. Uh, the chickens, have they reset? Kind of not yet. Cleanliness is still bad, but <laughs> remember how they were in the orange and they kind of need some feed? Not so much anymore. But I'm going to let this guy get to work. I'm going to bring our harvester down. <sighs> I'm not going to sell it yet, just in case. But, at least it'll be down there, ready to sell, hopefully, when midnight comes. But, uh, I'm going to let this, these people get to work, do a couple things off-camera, and I'll be back with you in just a while. Alright, I, I drove it to the shop, and you know what? I think we're just going to sell it now. Just, just to force me, just to force me to... Make sure we get the harvester, uh, which means I'm probably going to do some lot of contracts today. Uh, if we, I haven't looked at the price yet, so I don't know. I thought it'd be fun we do it together. It goes for eighty four grand new. I'm hoping to get like forty for it, forty or fifty. Ouch! Oh, only twenty five grand. It, it's it's sold that that hurts um but i'm getting eight grand for the header uh 102 if i repair it for 103 oh uh, well i basically just made it look good and got my money back on it um okay so yeah we now we don't have a harvester <laughs> yeah that's right we don't have a harvester um, digging myself a hole here if this doesn't work out. So I'm going to stay on the railroad tracks while we look at prices and hope, uh, for one, that the egg prices, uh, pork grain elevator, can you get over three grand? Um, that'll give us like another 25 grand. So why the John Deere is doing that, I may have to go in here. Oh, harvesting jobs. <laughs> uh, are they all harvesting jobs? Uh, fertilizing field four, harvesting field eight, cotton. Oh, that would take a while though. Field eight is huge. Uh, we got to have some fertilizing jobs. Which one's field 11? Ooh, that's a big field as well. Uh, I'm going to check out the fields and probably do a fertilizing job. While the John Deere is doing that. And I'll bring it back when maybe the contract is just about being done. In one of these fields. So once again, I'll see you in a bit. Just had gotten the message that our John Deere has finished sowing field number 6. And we're over here in field number 11. Doing a contract for fertilizing for 17000 so when we get done with this, we'll be pretty close to 360. Which brings us about 150 short of what we need at the moment. But then again, we should get 
a good amount of that through the BGA at midnight. But I'm probably going to try to take all the fertilizing jobs I can today. Uh, just to get us a whole, you know. If we just uh, get enough money just for the harvest, that leaves us with zero dollars. And uh, yeah, I want to pay $12,000 of loan interest. So I'm putting the farm in a little bit of a hole if we weren't already into one. But let's be honest, you know, you can't really put yourself in too much of a hole in farming sim. You can always climb yourself out by doing nothing but contracts, by leasing equipment. I mean, you're still always going to make money. But yeah, it's time for a new harvester. Uh, the bison has been good to us, but I don't want to say I was getting tired of it. But it was just taking too long to do field number six in itself, and then doing the oat field for... Oh, we have completed, just as I said that. Uh, doing the oat field for the horses, leaving all the straw swaths. Yeah, it was getting to be a lot of work for a small harvester, but honestly, that bison did a very good job. It's a very good harvester, but it's just it's just run its due on this farm. It's it's time for it to be sold, let someone else enjoy it, have it. I don't know if 17, but well, yeah, 17 even. So there we have it. Uh, there was one for fertilize, fertilize field four. Uh, one for thirteen. Uh, field thirteen. I think what I'll do is I'll drive over. I like to see how tall the crop is, and I'm going to drive right to my neighbor's crop. I got I got narrow tires on. We're good. Um, if the crop is too high, it can be kind of hard to see where you have fertilized. But yeah, we're trying to uh, earn us some cash here. <laughs> <laughs> so when midnight comes we do have the cash to buy ourselves a harvester so uh, I also got our own grass field I could mow today but I think I may let that go just a little bit I may change my mind a little bit through here but uh, let me get some more things situated I want to bring the John Deere back up here I'll put the seed drill away for now and you can still see I got about 200,000 liters of silage to go and there's still some in the loading wagon to take care of. But uh, I'm going to get some more things situated here. I'm going to try to take another contract if the fields aren't too tall where I can't see. And I'll bring it back once again. Must wash our equipment before we put it away, right? Looking good. Now we're over in field 13. Fertilizing this. This is like a $10,000 contract, I think. Somewhere around there. And that I probably will head to field 4. I think that one's going to pay us like seventeen grand. i am just trying to get us as much money as we can. So yeah, we have a little extra cash. <laughs> at the end of the day when we buy our new harvester and header. I mean the header alone is 80 grand. So that <laughs> when you think about how much that header costs, the header is 80 grand. The a new bison harvester was what 85 grand something like that. Oh, there we go. Completed. So let's go in here. Actually it's almost uh is this over 11 grand. So where's the other fertilizing job? Field 4 for 18. Um, I think I'll, dr I'll drive over there first just to see how tall the crop is. Um, this one's rather relatively easy to see where we're harvesting. But uh, let me head on down there. I have 5,000 liters of fertilizer left, which is more than enough. I did put the speed up to times 15 just because nothing's really time sensitive at the moment. Uh, but while we're here, we'll just take a quick check on the eggs. Still nothing great. So let's head on down to field four and we'll see what that field looks like and see if it's a job I want to take. I mean, the price is obviously good. I mean, that'll get us pretty close to 390000 in the bank account. And that alone with a biogas plant tonight should push us what we need. But, you know, we need a cushion of money. So, yeah, I think I'm probably going to do field four no matter what the crop looks like. Meaning how tall it is and if I can see it, see the ground or not. But yeah, 
Let's get over there. Well, we're over here in field number four. Fertilizing corn. I was like, oh, how's this going to go? But if I do a bird's eye view of the field, it's not bad. I can actually see where I've been. Barely, but I can see where I've been. I don't know if they kind of changed it to the patches that they've had because I thought this would just be a lot rougher. I could imagine if you're doing this at night, forget it. You're not going <laughs> to, even with the lights on the tractor, you're probably not going to see where you've been. But this is going to pay us well. We will get, you know, pretty close to 400 grand at this point. We'll be just a little bit shy. If I do another really good contracting job or two decent ones, we'll get to 400 grand. Which means the bioprocessing plant should easily put us over the half million dollar mark to buy our harvester. Because at the moment now, as you know, we don't have one. So, I mean, if really worse came to worse, I mean, which it's not going to. Uh, one, we don't have to buy the harvester I would like, but why wouldn't you at this point? Uh, we could always buy like a medium sized harvester or whatever, or we could sell the horses. Uh, we would make a decent amount of money on the horses right now. Not a hundred percent profit on the horses that we could get. Oh, we're done. Cool. Uh, like I said, I think the horses are going for like 30, we could sell them for like 37,000 right now. We bought them for five. But, uh, yeah, there's 18,000 right there. Field 11 needs fertilizing for 16,000. Which one's field? I just did field 11. He wants it done again? Am I going nuts here? Did I <laughs> rewind the, rewind the, the video? Did I not just do field 11? I don't know. I thought I did. Uh, maybe they will be able to do both back to back. There is a great demand at the sawmill. I don't know what it's for. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's wood chips. Uh, yeah, thank you for playing because I don't have wood chips. Um, but let me get off this guy's field. I think we'll head to the bioprocessing plant. And uh, a lot of time has gone by. So I'm pretty sure the John Deere or the bioprocessing plant really needs to uh, unload some of that silage. So I'll meet you up there. We'll take care of some of the silage problem. Well, not silage problem, but we'll sell some more silage and maybe I'll fertilize field number 11 again and put us over 400 grand. Well, on the way back to the BGA, couldn't help but notice our field number six that we just seeded, but we were running at times 15, has uh, hit a growth stage. So now we're putting our second stage of fertilization on that. So yeah, we're just fertilizing everything at this point, but fertilizing other people's fields and contracts, like I said, has got us $10,000 short of 400000 So I may do field number 11 again, because it didn't take me that long. I think it took me like five minutes real time just to fertilize that field and you get paid that much. But I did uh, slow down speed just to time one just for a bit. Because I do want to come over here and take care of the John Deere and the BGA just for now. Uh, I'm pretty <laughs> like I'm pretty sure that the BGA is not processing anything at the moment. So we'll park this guy like right here for now. I don't even remember how much is in the loading wagon at the moment. Well, it should take all of it. I do uh, wonder why. And uh, I do wonder why I got it, that on that. Uh, hello? There we go. My mouse was controlling the uh, the flapper in the front of the loading wagon. I was like, uh, I want to turn my viewing angle, please. And I'm pretty sure my belt is off because I have have not started it since I restarted the game over. Uh, I stand corrected. 
It is on. All right. But it must be... Oh yeah, this is not far enough back. That's why I was trying to get closer. And turn the belt on. Now we'll back up the tractor. That's working better. So like I said, I think I had about 200,000 left in here. Maybe not even that much. But we'll let the BGA get back to doing what it does best, which is selling our silage and screwing us on the price a little bit. You need to go back a little bit more, don't you? I love the AOE on this belt system, how it picks up most of the silage around. I mean, it's got a pr pretty big range right there. Uh, 70,000 exactly left in there, so I'll just leave that there. I don't need to... Oh, we're full anyways. Okay. That works. So what I'm going to do is we're going to sell this silage here. Turn the speed back up a little bit. I'm going to go take that contract for field number 11 once again. And that'll push us over 400 grand. And then we'll finish up selling the silage, I do believe. So yeah, once again, I'll see you in a bit. Because uh, this episode would have been a lot of fertilizing. So, yeah. I probably should buy some more fertilizer, too. Before I head on over there. Well, we have just finished fertilizing field number 11 once again. So, let's head on in. I did uh, refill our fertilizer spreader. But look at that. Just over 400 grand. Just over 400 grand. Just barely made it. So we're going to drive through our neighbor's field once again. Because everyone just loves us. And we don't destroy their crops. So it's all good. Head back to the BGA. I'm pretty sure we could empty the... Well, not empty. But we'll, the BGA should be able to take another 50,000 liters of silage. Make sure we sell it all today. And... Tomorrow, we will do grass. Let's see. Well, I probably won't show the grass, uh, me cutting the grass on cam, because <laughs> we just did that. But, you know, probably we'll, you know, if everything goes right, we'll have a harvester. Uh, I really don't know why I'm driving the Massey Ferguson in here for. Uh, maybe because I don't have to walk too far. That'd be, oh, that's my, okay. That's a good reason. So we don't have to walk too far. But uh, yeah, we will be harvesting the oat field hopefully tomorrow with our new combine. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to sell the rest of the silage. Uh, how are the egg prices doing? The pork grain elevator is getting up there. That is not a bad price. But uh, I'll wait a little bit longer, see how high the price gets, and we may sell some eggs as well. But I'll see you in a while, uh, probably in a couple in-game hours. And we'll see where we stand on selling silage, and we'll see what that egg price ends up at. So we may sell some eggs, just to get us some more cash as well. If we get like 25000 for the eggs, whew, yeah, we should be, we should be alright when midnight comes. Two minutes until midnight, and I... Paid off the $400,000 sort of loan so we don't get too much hit with too much interest. Now, what I'm going to try to do when it hits midnight, we'll get money from the BGA. The interest does not kick in until one minute past. I don't know if it's just they delay it like that or 
Hopefully I can get the money from the BGA, pay off some more of the loan, and the interest rate won't be as high. I don't know if that's a thing, but that's what we're going to try to do. Uh, egg prices, uh, I'll show you in a minute, but, well, maybe actually in two minutes, because we got to see how much we get from the BGA. I'm hoping for at least 120 grand, because we're going to have to pay 10 grand, roughly in interest, something like that. So that would give us a nice $500,000, which really... I think the combo we have with the Harvester and Header might be just a little bit over $500,000. So we'll have to see. So quickly when this dings over here in just a few seconds, like a half minute or whatever, I'm going to go in and try to pay off the money we get from the biogas plant. And uh, yeah, hopefully cut back our interest just a little bit. Then after the interest dings up and shows us what we got, then we'll borrow all the money we can. Just $102,000. I got screwed once again. So, yeah, we're going to pay off. Most of that, you can see our loan would be $1.7 right now. So, while we're waiting for that to kick in, uh, the egg prices, we may go sell some eggs because I don't think we got enough for the harvester with what we have. So, I'll just speed up time just a little bit so we can see what the interest rate will be. 10000 which is not bad. Looks like it already paid because it didn't take no money out of our it didn't take no money out of our bank account. So that's interesting. Alright, so what we wanted to go back into now is hey, remember that money that we didn't we just gave you a bank? We're gonna take it all back. And I think I'm gonna have to sell these eggs now. Uh the best price we got is thirty one hundred per box. And we're going to need that cash because we don't quite have the money. Yeah, see, we're, we're below 500 so <laughs> I may not even have enough money still to buy the harvester and header that we need. Uh, so I may do some contracting jobs still. But let me get, um, I guess this guy will do. I'll load up the trailer, and I'll meet you over at the sell point, and we'll sell some of these eggs. Hopefully we get a lot of cash for them. Well, the best price for eggs was at 3100 at the Port Grain Elevator, which is on the west side of the map. And, of course, our chickens are in the southeast. So we're on the way over there. We're just about there, though. So on the way over, I was thinking about uh, the BGA prices once again. And, yeah, so I sold a little over half a million liters. And we just got a little over $100,000. So, Yes, we're not getting the 360 what it says in the economy page. We're getting paid two hundred dollars, not the 360, which is a big decrease. I don't know why giants can't get that straightened away. Um, maybe I'll dig into the XML file and see if I can find it myself and correct it because it seems like it should be something simple to do. But I mean, the giants can't figure it out. All right, so what are we getting the per box here? Oh, 465. 465? Really? 465. Port Grain Elevator, 3100. Yeah, Port Grain Elevator. Yeah, don't get me started on this. The weeds are already in our field once again, so. Ah, just good news all the way around. So, um, I was kind of hoping. I thought these boxes were at least going to go for at least 500. We're not even close to 500. Uh, so I was hoping to get somewhere around 15,000 for these boxes. 14, 15. Somewhere in there. Uh, yeah, we'll be lucky to get like 11,000. I'm not sure we'll get over half a million dollars. But then again, I forgot how many boxes I had in the pile. So I'm not quite sure. But it looks like I'm going to have to do a contract job to get enough money to buy our, our combine and header. Looks like that one didn't sell. Luckily for our animals, I mean, the sheep gave us 25,000 in wool. 
Uh, the chickens are going to give us, prob you know, well enough. I mean, for what we paid for chickens and everything. We have definitely made money on the chickens, I think, at this point. Of course, we had to pay 40000 for the pen. And I forgot how much we paid. I forgot what we get, like 30 chickens per... Yeah, I think we had like 90 chickens and two roosters. But now we got the full 400. I think we pretty much have broken even on the chickens at this point. It looks like we might be just, you know, shy of... Almost said 5 million. Yeah, if we had 5 million, 5 million, this wouldn't be a problem right now. I don't know how many boxes have not registered, but hopefully there's a couple down there just to get us over the 500,000, but I don't think it's going to. Oh, wow, okay, there's a few boxes down here. But I'm still going to have to do some contracting jobs. There, so we are over half a million. But, but that's not enough. I did do the math. I, I, I need like $507,000 for this. I do believe I did quick math and that's where we're at. And we're not there. So yeah, I want to find a contracting job in between episodes. And that means no harvester in this episode. But at the beginning of the next episode, we'll be buying a harvester. I'm going to do a contracting job off camp in between episodes. Make sure we got enough money. And we'll finally buy our harvester. Uh, I'll go up this road just because I can. Uh, it just, it also just gets me just a little bit that our field number six has weeds in it once again. But you know what? It's past midnight. This farmer's getting tired. Uh, I did a lot of jobs off, you know, well not off cam, but, uh, those fertilizing jobs you didn't see. And it uh, looks like I need to do maybe one or possibly two more because I think I took all the big jobs there was. So that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I appreciate you watching as always. And I'll see you next time in Ravenport. But until then, have a good one.